A few days ago, the American newspaper The New York Times unexpectedly raised the topic of the latest Russian nuclear-powered cruise missile SSC-X9 Skyfall, which is known to many under the designation Bura Vesnik. At the same time, it is worth noting that in 2019, after the unsuccessful test of the latest Russian cruise missile, the same American newspaper, along with other Western media, tried in every possible way to ridicule the latest Russian development, calling it a flying Chernobyl. Moreover, after 2019, the Western press tried to avoid the topic of the Russian nuclear-powered cruise missile Bira Vesnik, despite the successful tests of this missile in 2021. And it seems that the successes of Russian engineers concerning the nuclear-powered cruise missile Bira Vesnik have become so obvious and intimidating for the Pentagon that the Western media were forced to raise this topic again. So, a few days ago, the New York Times said that the Russian military is preparing for the next and apparently final tests of the nuclear-powered cruise missile Bira Vesnik. These conclusions were made thanks to satellite images by the private American company, Planet Labs, these images clearly show the preparations for the launch of the nuclear-powered cruise missile Bira Vesnik. Moreover, the upcoming launch of the latest cruise missile was also indicated by the fact that at the beginning of September this year, the Russian military department banned aviation from entering the 40-kilometer zone of the test site on the Novaya Zemlya archipelago. At the same time, experts from the New York Times said that the Russians are likely to enter the last and decisive stage of testing a unique cruise missile. And judging by what happened next, the suspicion of experts was fully confirmed. Yesterday, speaking at the Forum of Valdai Club, President Vladimir Putin officially announced that Russia in October of this year conducted successful tests of the nuclear-powered cruise missile Bira Vesnik. Moreover, Vladimir Putin also said that Russia has fully completed work on the world's first fifth-generation intercontinental ballistic missile Sarmat, and that the necessary work is currently underway to start mass production of this superweapon. We have completely finished work on modern types of weapons, which I presented and announced in 2018. A few days ago, we conducted successful and final tests of a unique nuclear-powered cruise missile Bira Vesnik. Moreover, the latest intercontinental ballistic missile Sarmat is also fully ready for mass production, Vladimir Putin said. This news had the effect of an exploding bomb in the West. This means that with the entry into service of these latest systems, Russia will receive not only unique weapons that are several decades ahead of Western samples of weapons, but also full dominance in the international, political, and military arena. Let me remind you that the nuclear-powered cruise missile Bura Vesnik, thanks to its miniature nuclear engine, can stay in the air for an unlimited time. Moreover, this cruise missile is capable of hitting targets anywhere in the world, nearly instantly. Thus, the ability of the cruise missile Bura Vesnik to overcome huge distances makes air defense systems absolutely useless. Now, Russia can strike at any military facility in the United States, even from Antarctica and the North Pole. Moreover, the cruise missile Bura Vesnik can carry not only a traditional and nuclear warhead, but also a hypersonic glide block, capable of destroying any object anywhere in the world.
It is also worth noting the fact that if by some miracle, enemy air defense systems managed to shoot down the nuclear-powered cruise missile Bura Vestnik, this would lead to the explosion of a miniature atomic bomb, which would not only pollute enemy territory, but also disable all enemy electronics at a distance of up to 50 kilometers. Thus, the Pentagon has received a serious challenge that will most likely not be solved in the next 60-70 years.